you probably have heard the news about Adobe buying Figma. Everyone talked about it and here we are after a few weeks wondering what's going to happen. And Adobe having two software tools that are competing for the same audience seems like a weird business move. So what are they gonna do? So did they just buy Figma to buy out their biggest competitor? Or are they gonna kill XD and move on with Figma? First, I didn't think that Adobe would kill their own product, but the more research I've been doing, the more I've been starting to realize that XD is probably the one that's going to die. This and a few other reasons is why I am moving to Figma. So imagine me going to design school 10 years ago and the cool kids in class had a MacBook, right? But my parents didn't, didn't have a lot of money, so I just got a Windows PC, uh, actually a laptop. Compared to today's standards, it was an old fat laptop that would update for 45 minutes when you wanted to shut it down to go home because I had to do a Windows update. And it was so heavy that I got back problems because I always ran to the subway with the thing on my back. <laughs> So the hardware was different, but the software was also different. I used Photoshop to design my websites. Look at this screenshot. This is an actual screenshot of one of my first projects ever that I designed in Photoshop. And then in the second year of design school, this company came along called Sketch. And this was the first UI tool on the market. This became very popular, but there was one problem. It was only for Mac users. But I had a Windows laptop, so only the cool kids could use this. And the people at Sketch really didn't want to make a Windows version. I went to one of their events because it's a Dutch company and I am Dutch as well. And people in the audience asked like, hey, why is there no Windows version? And they didn't really have an answer, but I think that they just didn't like Windows or they just thought that designers should just work on Mac. So the cool people in my class worked on a MacBook with Sketch and I was stuck on my Windows laptop with Photoshop. And then the company that I already trusted from my work in Photoshop, Adobe, introduced Adobe XD. And this was not only for Mac, but also on Windows. This of course was a deal breaker in the market and it became really popular really fast. And Adobe XD started to roll out features on the regular. So while XD became better every month, I adopted my whole workflow to Adobe XD. I got rid of Photoshop and it really changed my life. Because of course, in a tool like this, you can move much faster than you could in Photoshop. And then when I started this YouTube channel, I started talking really positively about Adobe XD. And some of my XD videos even went viral, especially the one where I talked about the workflow that you should first design in Adobe XD before you go into a building tool like Elementor. But then slowly in the background, this new cool tool called Figma started to get more popular. And I was kind of interested, but my whole workflow was in Adobe. I used Adobe XD, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects. I was already paying for Adobe. So I was like, well, it, it's kind of similar. I'm just going to stick to XD. So Figma started to grow in popularity slowly over the years. And every time I uploaded an Adobe XD video, more people started asking like, hey, Reno, why don't you use Figma? And of course I understood this question and I was interested in the collaboration tools that Figma had compared to XD. But my whole workflow, like I said, was in Adobe. And I also believe that if you want to succeed in business, you have to focus. That's why I don't make videos on all the new trendy page builders, for example, that are in the market. I mean, Elementor does the job still for me, so why do I want to switch? Of course, I'm looking at the others, but I'm not spending a lot of time on it because it's still missing a lot of features for me. And switching to another tool is always a bit of a painful process. You have to learn the new tool. You already have your templates in the old tool, all your settings. And yes, I know that Figma is not that different from XD, but switching, it takes time. You have to invest some time in it. And then the big bang came and Adobe said like, hey, we are buying Figma. So first I was like, great, I'm already inside of Creative Cloud. I have everything in Adobe. So they're just gonna kill Figma and they're just gonna take all of the features from Figma and put it in XD. But then Adobe sent an email to all of their customers saying, well, we have been reducing our investment in XD. We will continue to support it. And I've seen the same communication with some other companies. This is kind of language for, it's gonna be here for a while, but probably not in the future. Or in this article on Bloomberg, Adobe said, XD has become a pretty immaterial product for us, 
based on its growth and its business contribution. An immaterial product means uh, inimportant, not so important product. So once Figma comes in, we have to reevaluate where we want to shift our resources and focus. So they're not saying it right now, but they're saying we have been reducing our investment, so not a lot of updates, and XD has become a not so important product for us. So I think it's safe to say at this point that Adobe is leaning towards removing XD from their product line. And I think that in the future, they will probably make it more expensive, but I do not think that it will become a full paid tool and that it will be sucked into Creative Cloud completely. A lot of people think that, but that doesn't need to happen. For example, look at the example of Behance. Behance is a company that was also bought by Adobe. And since then, Adobe has successfully grown this company to 30x from what it was from the point that they bought it. And it's still a free tool. Yes, I get it. It's not a tool where you create stuff. So it's different from the other software. But still, I think that this is an example that it doesn't have to become a full paid tool. What I do think is that there will be some limitations, for example, with sharing files. I mean, in XD, you had kind of the same situation where you could only share one prototype. I think something like that in terms of limitations will be there. But if there will just be a tool where you can design for free, that's super great and there is i think a high chance that that's gonna stay we don't know but we do know that they are very committed to maintaining a free tier and we also know that adobe is very interested in the cloud platform in general so having tools on the web creative tools on the web because they're seeing that the market is uh, gravitating towards companies like Canva, which also is a creative tool on the web. Yes, it's more limited than Figma, I agree, but it has a paid version as well. And it's not bankrupt yet, so something is working here. <laughs> And, and it has an amazing free plan as well. So I just wanted to share that I don't think it's that bad that Adobe is now the owner of Figma. And at the end of the day, we are in a creative industry which changes a lot. I mean, look at how web design was done 10 years ago with Photoshop and hand coding. And now we have no code tools. We have Figma, we have tools like Elementor. It's an amazing time, right? Imagine what we will have in 10 years. But one thing we do know is that we have to adapt and stay updated and keep learning on what's about to happen because if i didn't make this switch and i waited a year from now i think this is the right move but uh, if i would wait another year and adobe would kill xd and xd would not have updates for another year and in figma all of the amazing things are happening then i would miss out and i don't want you guys to miss out as well so that's also a perspective we are working in a market where a lot of things change so we have to change as well so once I made that decision that I'm going to move to Figma, I've been starting to educate myself on Figma. And to be honest, <laughs> the Figma users will love this, but to be honest, Figma is better in a lot of ways. And to prove my point, I'm gonna make another video where I will point out 10 things that are better in Figma compared to Adobe XD. I actually really like the tool. I didn't expect that. Uh, again, I really didn't want to switch because switching is always painful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help you guys, the XD users, if I, because I know I have a lot of XD uh, users, followers, to take you on this journey from XD to Figma. Maybe you're not convinced yet that Figma is the future. I think Adobe is leaning into that direction. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna try to convince some of you guys to go on that train as well. So if you don't wanna miss that next video, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you will get a notification when that video is up. So all we can do is try to make this transition as smooth and painless as possible. That's what I'm gonna try to do for myself and for you guys with a lot of videos. So I hope that you are a little bit excited and then hopefully I will see you in the next video on Living With Pixels.